Hi Bronson, take me Nicole. I'm Nicole, take B Bronson. Be my wedded wife. Be my wedded husband. The having to hold from this day forward. For better, for worse, for richer, for poor. In sickness and health. To love, cherish, and obey. Till death do we part. Till death do us part. According to God's holy We're gathered here today in the sight of God and these witnesses to join Bronson Edmonds and Nicole Aikens in holy matrimony. From the beginning of creation, God made them male and female. For this cause shall a man leave his father and mother and cleave to his own wife. And they twain shall be one flesh, so then they shall no more be twain but one. Marriage is an institution ordained by God and honorable in all. Will you, Bronson, have Nicole to be your wedded wife? To live together in the state of holy matrimony, will you love her, comfort her, honor and keep her, and forsake all others, keep thee only unto her, so long as you both shall live? I will. Will you, Nicole, have Bronson to be your wedded husband? To live together in the state of holy matrimony. Will you love him, comfort him, honor and keep him, and forsaken all others, keep thee only unto him, so long as you both shall live? I will. You will. By doing this, it shows that you are committed to loving and serving each other as husband and wife with the love of Jesus has for the two of you. By washing each other's feet, you're saying, I'm humbly accepting you as you are. Not only with my words, but with my actions. My love is not just a promise, but an unconditional action of love. In your humility, you commit yourselves to each other. You bring all of who you are, and that is what makes you great together. It is my pleasure to pronounce them husband and wife. Bronson, you may kiss your bride. <laughs>